Venus in Scorpio, what is it and why is it important? What does it have to do with your relationships? This is what I would love to talk about in this video. And by the way, I am Lara Mar. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am all about becoming my best self and inspiring you to become the best self. Astrology is one of the greatest tools that I personally found to deepen my understanding of myself and life in general. So if you have this position, stick around and you're going to learn what kind of relationship you need. Before I get started, I want to say thank you so much for co-creating this experience together. That being said, your engagement, like liking, subscribing, commenting and sharing this video really helps me grow my channel and keep doing this creative journey, spreading astrological and metaphysical and spiritual and positive information to the world. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And without further ado, let's get started. Venus in Scorpio. So Venus is the planet of love and relationship. Scorpio is one of the most profound signs. Very deep, profound, psychological, transformative, and dramatic signs. So if you have Venus in Scorpio in relationships, you have this need to dive deep to the bottom of the relationships. You wouldn't be interested in just surfacy and shallow love affairs. You need to dive deep. You have this relationship needs for intensity. So for this reason, you can attract a lot of dramas and extreme situations. Another thing ruled by Scorpio is passion. So when you're in love, you will be definitely a passionate lover. Because Scorpio represents passion and Venus is love. You can almost like all or nothing attitude when it comes to love and relationships in general. And you would be attracted to someone who has these qualities. It can go both ways. Wherever Scorpio is located in your birth chart indicates where you can have the most ups and downs and transformations in life. Venus in Scorpio represents that you would have a lot of ups and downs in relationships. You can almost feel like you're reborn through every single relationships. Your partner would be pretty Scorpionic. This doesn't mean that he or she is a Scorpio rising sun or moon sign, but from your perspective, your partner, whoever you meet, this is like a general theme that is playing out. Your partner would have the secretive elements and very profound. They would have researchers mind. If your Venus has challenging aspects, either you or your partner would be very controlling and enjoy playing power games. Some of the negative expressions of Scorpio include stalking, controlling, and obsession, power games, psychological manipulations, gaslighting. But if you raise your vibration and focus more on positivity, you can manifest higher expression of Scorpio in love. For example, you can be healed, deeply healed through relationships. You can reinvent your identity through love. Your lover or your relationship would bring you such changes. Venus in Scorpio, it needs to be intense and passionate. You can be fulfilled in relationship when you repeatedly regenerate, recreate the relationship dynamics in any way, shape or form because Scorpio represents transformation. 
if you're stuck in a predictable routines for so long, then your subconscious mind would attract new changes, thus creating more dramas and substantial structural changes. Overall, your partner would trigger some sort of deep-seated traumatic or subconscious psychological blocks so that you can heal those and become a better version of yourself. When you're a lower vibration, your partner could be pretty jealousy and controlling and manipulating or you could have these qualities. But when you raise your vibration, you'll be very healing, therapeutic and basically transcend the limits. Eighth house is about death and rebirth. So you'll be able to constantly upgrade your relationships. And depending on in which house your Venus is located, the way things are playing out will be different. Speaking of your partner, your partner would love occult, secret knowledge, confidential activity of some sort. Also, you would love having secret relationships because Scorpio represents secrets. This could be your partner too. Your partner would be involved in a scorpionic career such as research, surgeon, like surgical operation, EMT, some sort of crisis management, insurance, mutual funds, asset management, anything that has to do with recycling, changing from form A to form B. Your partner could be psychologist, healer, be part of secret society, secret community. And he or she would be pretty private. And you would also like to keep your relationship private. Venus in Scorpio, your relationship can be pretty crazy and unexpected, unpredictable. Your relationship can start all of a sudden and end out of the blue. Some part of your relationship would be staying private, if not all, because Scorpio represents secrets. Also, you would love pursuing secret hobbies with your partner. Your partner would be into occult, research, conspiracy theory, and metaphysics, healing, astrology, and anything related to Scorpio. By the way, Venus and Scorpio represents you would be very seductive and attractive, almost like the form of bottle. Particularly if you have a good aspect to Venus, you'll be very charming and sexually appealing. Um, another thing in your relationship, the greatest fulfillment can be accomplished through intimacy. It's not just about physical relationship, but emotional vulnerability. So it's very important that you let your guard off and communicate with your partner transparently openly and authentically then you would feel the greatest fulfillment through relationships so i hope this is helpful and now i would like to turn it over to you i would love to hear from you if you resonated with it and and what you love the most from this video i love reading your comments and if you liked it, like this video, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the bell button so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. And thank you for co-creating this experience together. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.